Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ubuntu 22.04 was released yesterday and I'm going to check out Ubuntu Mate with you. Uh, believe me, Ubuntu Mate is actually one of the better flavors of Ubuntu. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so on first boot, we are greeted with the welcome screen. Help improve Ubuntu Mate. Send telemetry. Do not send. Uh, you can also preview your data. So as you can see, this is the version numbers and what kind of BIOS you're running. So you can preview what you're running and you can choose to either send or not send. I'm inside of a VM, so I'm not going to bother with any of those. I'm going to click do not send and I'm going to close this off. Okay. Ubuntu Mate Jammy Jellyfish 2022.04. Let's look at the default desktop. So you have a panel at the bottom. This is your button for hiding all the desktop windows and showing the desktop. On the right, you have your workspaces and this is a tiny trash icon. At the top, you have your start menu. So you have different categories and then you have a pinned app, which is Firefox. Towards the right, you have your wired connections. So over here, then notifications. So as you can see, I can click on DND. Then is your sound. So you can mute or you can go to sound settings and you can change your hardware input, output, and applications from within the sound preferences. Then comes your date and time. So this is your calendar. This is my place. And of course, a power icon for doing power things. All right. Now we're going to go through the start menu and I'm not going to bore you with all the applications that are here, but just so you know, it's divided into accessories, administration, graphics, internet, office, preferences, sound and video system tools, and universal access. If you know what Linux apps are, you are already familiar with most of these apps. Now, the thing of interest to us is the control center. So we're going to go to the control center. And as you can see, we have minimize, maximize and close buttons, just like windows at the right. So that should be familiar to a lot of you. And before we take a look at some of these, the first thing that I want to do is actually go to the appearance section, because this will be interesting to a lot of you. So as you can see under appearances, you have themes. So a lot of themes are here, custom, Yaru, Yaru Bark, uh, Yaru Bark Dark. That's a mouthful. And you have a lot of themes under here with different accent colors, just like normal Ubuntu GNOME edition. Then over here under background, you have a few background choices, which are good. I mean, you can add and remove if you want to. You have fonts, so Ubuntu regular. And for interface, you can choose to hide or show some of the icons. Now, first, we're going to change this to a dark theme because I prefer dark theme, obviously, and I believe Mate with dark theme looks amazing and this green wallpaper accentuates it all the more. So after appearance, I want to check out Mate Tweak with you guys. There are three categories, desktop, panel and windows. Under desktop, you have your show desktop icons. You can choose what to show. Under Windows, you can enable animations, disable them, you can change your high DPI settings, you can change your fonts, you can change your window manager. But the most interesting part of Ubuntu Mate customization is the panel. So under panel, as you can see, select a panel layout to change the user interface. So right now this is at familiar. So what is familiar? It's kind of like Windows XP where you have a separate tab for a separate application. And instead of only being the icon, you also have the name of the app that is open. Let's check out some of the other ones. Contemporary will get you a similar, but a different type of look. So as you can see, it's still the same. We have our panel at the bottom, our menu at the top. And this is Mate Tweak. I can't tell too much of a difference, to be honest. Look, this is my first time checking out Mate. If you guys think I'm wrong somewhere, feel free to comment, okay? And by the way, if you're liking this video, please subscribe, please like. Next, we're going to go to Mutiny and we're going to see how it looks. All right, so Mutiny actually looks a lot like Ubuntu, but you don't have your show applications in here. Instead, it's over here. And instead of being a small start menu kind of thing, right now it's an entire page filled with different apps and different categories. This is better for a tablet 
interface but it also works perfectly fine for your desktop so i'm not complaining it looks nice then you have pantheon so under pantheon you might have guessed that this is related to elementary os because elementary os uses the pantheon desktop so you have the panel at the top and then you get a dock at the bottom if i am not wrong this should be the plank dock and yes this is the plank dock you have your appearance behavior dock list in here you can change and customize pretty much everything about plank dock right from this menu next we have redmond so redmond would be similar to a windows like layout Again, as you can see, the start menu is on the left at the bottom. It's categorized like earlier. You have a few pinned apps along with the show desktop, and then you have an XP style uh, applications open and all of your icons and date and time and power, they have been moved to the right, which is pretty, pretty standard for a Windows like appearance. Under traditional, you would get, I think there was, this would be similar to the familiar look that we had earlier but the only difference is you get applications like this so this is how your start menu so to speak now looks and apart from this you also get places to browse your files and folders connect to a server and also system to configure your settings directly from here but for me the one i look for is cupertino cupertino if you know what it is, it is a Mac OS type layout and IMO, this is my favorite. So what's different, right? Number one, you get your minimize, maximize and close icons to the left. That is fine. We know that already. You have a dock, but we've seen this already. So what is new? I'm glad you asked. So let's say we open terminal. This would also be a great time to check the kernel number that we have. So if I type uname A, as you can see, we are using the 5.15 LTS kernel, fairly recent, and it also comes with Mesa 22. So for those AMD or Intel graphics card users out there, this is going to heavily benefit you. And I think you've already guessed what I was going to hint. This is a universal menu system. What can I say? I'm a huge fan. I met Ubuntu when it was 12.04, and ever since then, I was in love with the Unity 7 desktop because of this universal menu and i would i was glad so any application that you open uh, firefox doesn't have anything so let's say we open files and files should have so as you can see files is here and you get file edit view go bookmarks help all the menus are shifted over there it's amazing i love it so if i change over to the terminal as you can see this changes along with what the name that is displayed is okay so now that I'm a bit more calm and not so excited because I get very excited seeing this, uh, this is the file manager. Let's just talk about it. As you can see, this is Yaru theme, uh, dark, darkened, and you have your green accent color. It looks fine. This is the Kaha or the Kaya. I'm not sure how to pronounce this file manager and it's fine. It's usable. What else can I say? Right now we're going to go back to the control center and let's check out a few other things. So. You might ask, how am I going to install software? Well, you have Software Boutique, and this is a hanger. I don't know why this is a hanger. Maybe you, I don't know, <laughs> maybe you hang your software from here. Uh, anyway, so this is kind of like an old school style appearance where you have your accessories, education, games, different graphics and a lot of other categories now of course this is not like you know software or ubuntu software this is different and if you go down the list of applications you can see for brave it says this software isn't supported by ubuntu and requires third-party repositories to install but for something native like chromium if you click on details you can see the license you can see the platform you can see what the category of the app is and you can also see if this is a part of ubuntu repository now being a part of ubuntu repository does not say that it will be a deb or a snap package but at least this is an officially supported software for ubuntu now if i click on preferences you can see that you have a few options you can go to manage repositories so if I go to manage repositories, as you can see, you get the software sources basically for Ubuntu and 
under updates, as you can see, snap package updates are checked routinely and are installed automatically. For other packages, you get a basic security maintenance until 27, that is 2027, but you can extend this with Ubuntu's advanced feature program. I'm not sure what it's called, but you can basically pay to increase your uh, lifespan of getting security updates. So that's that. That's really cool. And one last thing before I wrap this video up is I want to show you how to install flat packs on Ubuntu because yes, this is one of the first Ubuntu flavors that supports flat pack out of the box. There is a slight catch to it because you can't find flat packs inside software boutique. But what you can do is if you head over to flat hub and let's say you pick an application. So let's say, for example, if I choose VLC, I'm going to let it load first. And let's say VLC is in here. So let's say GIMP or VLC. And if you click install, a single file will be downloaded. I already have one downloaded in here, if I'm not wrong. Uh, let's just check. Yep, I have VLC downloaded. So this is a Flatpak ref file or a Flatpak reference file. Now, you don't have a GUI method to install it, but what you can do is you can open this folder in your terminal and you can pretty much type Flatpak install and then type the name or press tab and it'll autofill, hit enter, and it should start installing your application. So you have a couple of wise to enter and after that i'm pretty sure that flat hub runtime and as you can see we are installing the open h.264 the yaro mate light theme kde platform locale video land vlc locale a lot of the things are going to be installed and you're going to have vlc installed so this is not perfect but if you know your way around the terminal you can easily do it plus i already just showed it to you so feel free to use this video as a guide on how to install flat packs inside of Ubuntu. With that, we come to the end of this video. I honestly have fallen in love with Mate, Ubuntu Mate 22.04. This is the first time I am checking it out, honestly. And well, if you are new to Linux, I think Mate, especially in Cupertino mode, you are going to fall in love with it. And so with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.